Welcome aboard Inland Seas. I'm Tom Kelly, the ship's captain, and in the next few minutes I'll take you on a tour of the vessel and I'll show you the things you need to know to safely sail aboard the ship during the school ship program. Some of you may be sailing on the schooner Manitou, chartered by Inland Seas for its school ship program. That vessel is slightly larger than Inland Seas, but most of what we will discuss here today applies to the Manitou as well. Let's start over here at the boarding ramp. When coming aboard or leaving the ship, you need to watch your feet and always go single file. After you are aboard, go with your instructor to the opposite side of the ship so everyone has room to come aboard. As you come across the deck, you'll see a big opening right here. This is called the companionway, and it leads to the deck below. The companionway is like a stairwell in a building, except we have no stairs here or anywhere on the ship. The companionway has a ladder that leads to the deck below, about 12 feet down. The ladder is quite steep, and when descending, you must face the ladder and go down backwards. If you have anything in your hands, you should hand it up or down so that you have both hands free to hang on to the railings. If you have a pack or coat you are carrying, you can hand it below as you pass the companionway. One of our crew will put your items on the berth where they can be gotten to if needed. Let's have a look now at some of the sailing gear, especially those things that are safety concerns. We'll start with the booms. The main and fore boom shouldn't be any problem for you as they pass safely over your head when we're sailing. Look what happens, however, if you stand upon the cabin tops. That's why we never let anybody stand up here. The staysail boom is a special case, as it is very low to the deck. The only way to stay out of its way is to stay off the foredeck. We have painted a white line across the deck to mark where the foredeck begins. Just stay behind this line and you'll be out of harm's way. Much of your day on the school ship you will be working on deck. There will be fish, seaweed, mud and water on the deck, so please watch your step, don't run, and don't stand on the railing that surrounds the deck. When you are working some equipment over the side, don't lean way over or you might join the fish. Now let's look at the life jackets. They're stored in these white wooden boxes on deck. You don't have to wear a life jacket while you are on the ship, but I do want you to know how to put one on and where they are kept. In the event of any emergency, the crew will direct you to the nearest life jacket box and assist you donning the jacket. To put on the jacket, undo the strap, pull the two halves apart, and put it over your head. Snap the single buckle and pull on the tab to snug up the strap. Okay, what next? Well, wait for instructions. The one thing you don't want to do is jump overboard. That's the last resort. The water is plenty cold and hypothermia could be a real problem. In case we had to abandon ship, the crew would launch the life raft, which is packed into this white fiberglass canister. We've never had to use the life raft, but it's here if we ever needed it. Now let's take a quick tour around the boat and look at some of the other safety equipment. This yellow gadget back here is the EPIRB. That stands for Emergency Position Indicating Beacon. If we have an emergency, that beacon will tell the Coast Guard where we are and who we are. Now right here is a steering wheel. Each of you will get a chance to steer the vessel. You'll be staying right here where I am while you do it. Over here is one of our two life rings. This one has 60 feet of floating line attached to it and on the other end is a strobe light. We'd throw this in the water if somebody fell overboard. Now let's go below and have a look around. This is the pilot house where you'll be doing your navigation exercises. Notice how I came down the companionway ladder. Only three steps here, but I still went down backwards. That's a very important rule to remember. Now here in the pilot house we have all sorts of navigation gear and you'll get a chance to use this equipment when you're on the ship. Now let's go further below. Over here we have the galley, and on the opposite side we have the zooplankton lab. This is the plankton station where you'll be able to see live zooplankton on our micro video system. This is the main cabin where your coats will be stored. And then over here we have the ship's restroom, which we call the head. It's a little bit different than your one at home, so I'm going to show you how to work it. First you push down this little pedal. This lets water into the bowl when you pump the handle like this. Then you use it just like any other toilet. When you are done, 
Lift the pedal and then pump the handle until the bowl is empty. If you have any problems, just let your instructor or one of the crew know. Well, that's about it. Remember to pay attention to any instructions given to you by the captain, the crew, or your instructors. I know you're going to have a great time on this school ship, and we're looking forward to having you aboard.